Today we're going to be going over how to create a sub VI in Lappy. So the first thing you want to do is highlight the section of the code or select the section of your code that you want to put into your sub VI. So in this case, um, I'm going to put this top section of the code into my sub VI. So I just highlight all of that by drawing a box around it, as you just saw. Then I go over here um, into this toolbar and then press edit. And then I go all the way down over here to create sub VI. So this has now made a sub VI. Um, which basically is uh, just a VI that contains all that code that I highlighted. So um, as you can see right here, all of our original code is still in the sub VI, but it is not um, represented. Now it is represented by um, just a VI in our main block diagram, which makes it cleaner and uh, definitely um, easier to fix because we can simply go into sub VI instead of changing all the code over here now and um, another a very useful property of sub VIs is that we can if we want to use this exact same code without rewriting the whole thing over we can um, once we have it made into a sub VI we can uh, copy it and uh, paste it over here so now we just need an input number I'll use the same input number so I'll get the same value over here, but now I can use it in this uh, division function over here. So now I'm effectively using the same code um, twice in two different areas without rewriting it. I'm just uh, using the same sub VI. So, you know, hopefully that gave you a very brief introduction on sub VI. And one last feature I will note is that in these sub VIs, um, if you want to change their appearance, you can go over here and uh, press edit icon. And then over here, you can change the picture. You can uh, delete this one and then um, put your own or something if you wanted like this. Okay, and then you can just uh, see how this uh, icon changed on our main block diagram. So that's basically how you edit the sub UI icon. So if you wanted, like, a, if it was like a division function or something, you could put the image that uh, corresponds to that and its icon, and that's going to help you. Um, in your code, identify what sub, what sub VI is what if you wanted to create multiple of them. So, you know, hopefully that gets you started with sub VIs, and that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching.